I know what's going on. I am back with another nursing school update. Let's get into it. So, y'all, I just finished my fourth quarter of nursing school. I'm lit. Okay. I'm extremely lit. Let me tell y'all. So, I just got done with med surge, which is like adult health, med surge, and pharmacology. So, you know what? Med surge and pharmacology, just hold on. Okay, now we can talk about med surge and pharmacology, okay? So, yeah, I just, first and foremost, I just want to say I'm done. I'm done, okay? First thing first, y'all already know what it is. So if I'm done with the class, y'all know I got to be on a break. So I'm on a 12-day break. I have 12 days left of my break. So y'all know I just came to school, but now I can't. <sighs> Wait, before I go with Y'all see my little, my little stethoscope? Yeah, so that's over with for right now. <laughs> so y'all, okay? I finished both classes. Um, it was it kind? Con- they both the both classes were constant heavy. They did go together. I see what they meant by like the classes go together. Like whatever we discussed in med surge, like a week or so later, we'll be talking about the same thing in pharmacy. Far as what medications went for what illnesses and diseases. So I didn't get where they was going, but it was challenging. But I prayed to the Most High, like I made it through it. Let's get into the grades though. Let's get into the grades though. Yeah. Oh yeah. And this comment I want to make because I studied way harder this quarter than I did last quarter. Like, I was at school every single day to, like, 7.45 before the school closed. My king would come get me, like, literally, I studied my tail out towards the end of the quarter. I got real burnt out. So I'm going to talk about, like, different ways that I feel like I want to avoid that for next time. Let's get into the grades, though. Yeah. Okay, y'all ready? Y'all ready? These were my grades exam one, two, three, and four for mid third exam one. I was like, ah. But then I picked it up, you know, I got to study and like I told y'all every single day I was there, I was on it. And I just give all praises to the most high his son because he really carried me through. And I I feel like I really did a good job in this class. Like y'all see grades. So I ended the class with like I think it was an eighty two point eighty four point five percent. Eighty four point five percent. So I'll praise it to the most high. Let's get in the farm. So y'all see farm down there at the bottom, right? A win is a win. <laughs> A win is a win. I need a 74 to pass at my school. Oh, it is a win. Okay, so this I did. I felt my first form exam. So that was my first time in their school that I felt an exam. But after that, I picked it up. Y'all see your girl came back with that 96. And on them last two exams, I made a 78 and a 76. And I made a passing grade. So couldn't have did it without the most high for real though. So this is my grade for another test that we had to take called the ATI. It was like an additional test that went with MedSurge that they test us on things we learned in funds. I needed a 65 on it. I felt it the first time I took it, y'all. And let me just say something about this ATI exam. It It's a test that they test and they're testing us on what we learned last quarter in foundations or fundamentals of nursing. So I literally went in there. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I went in the test. I don't know. I It was like, I guess I, just, I chose fear that day. Like I just, my faith was not where it was supposed to be. And I ended up feeling it by 1.6 points. And I'm gonna tell y'all, I feel like the most high literally was like shaking me back because like nursing school, <laughs> it has been draining me and i felt like it was draining me from my spirituality like separating me from my spirituality like i haven't had time for a lot of stuff and so i feel like this was like the most highest way of reminding me like hey hey can't do this without me okay i got you on this journey you can't do this without me don't forget about me yeah so I, like i said i felt it and i was heartbroken but they literally allowed us another chance after the break started to come back and retake the test so let's get into my final grade for the ati and let me just say, I really feel like, you know, this setback was really what I needed to, like, kick me back into gear spiritually, if that makes any sense. Like, I'm, you know, back on my prayers, back on my, you know, meditation, back on my scripture meditation, back on my stretching, just my spiritual maintenance to keep me going in this truth, to keep me going in this walk at the same time while I'm trying to be a wife, a mom, and a nursing student. You feel me? So, I feel like this is what I need. And I know, I knew my king been praying, I've been praying, my sister's been praying, like, I knew the most I didn't bring me this far to leave me, y'all. Let me just remind y'all, all I needed to pass this test was a 65. Y'all know I missed it last time, but like I said, one point six points let me show you how the most high showed up and show out for your sons okay 83.6 the most high literally he was there for me like he my mind was blown i cried i walked out of there crying y'all i was like oh praises to you most high thank you that's how i know it's in your will i ain't got no questions you feel me 
So y'all, I'm about to enter my fifth quarter of nursing school in 12 days, or I'm gonna enjoy this break for real. But in 12 days, I start a class called Mom Baby, which is a combination of maternity and pediatrics. So I'm so excited about that. I already have, I got pulled up for y'all. I already have my schedule for next quarter. So I'm gonna have clinical on Tuesdays, and I'm gonna have my theory and my lab on Fridays, and on Thursdays I have my theory as well. So I'm really super excited. I'm going to take it a little bit easier on myself. Like I said, I feel like I have been staying at school every day at 745. I'm not going to do that until, unless I see it absolutely necessary. I'm not going to do that too much next quarter because I am taking mom, baby, but I'm also taking two online classes, sociology and applied ethics, getting them both out the way so I don't have to take nothing toward the end of my nursing school journey, if that makes sense. So we're going to trust in the most high, y'all. We could continue to trust in the most high. He ain't felt the switch yet. I know he ain't feeling y'all. We're going to just keep 10 toes down in this truth and in our faith for real. So I pray y'all enjoyed that update and peace and healing. Keep a sister in prayer.